on today's Techno Babble. Why would you want to use a stage TV? This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now, here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to Techno Babble. This is the show where every week I help you with video and graphic design for your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, the... Uh, topic that we're delving into, this is going to be the first in a series, is all about using stage TVs. So I've noticed a trend where a lot of churches are using televisions on the stage for the pastor to interact with, put up sermon notes, etc. And so I thought that we'd talk about the whys and the hows and some of the little challenges that you have to overcome with the stage television. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is why you would use a stage television. Um, So the first thing you should consider is that it would give your pastor something to interact with. Sometimes the screen location is less than ideal for interaction. Maybe it's great that it's off to the side 30 feet away, I mean, that that makes sense for the way the room's designed, but it doesn't at all make any sense for the pastor to refer to it, to point to it, etc. You just, it's too far away. But having a television on stage, the pastor can touch it, can point to things, can highlight things by underlining them. So it gives something for the pastor to interact with. The second reason uh, is that it can enhance your image magnification, your iMag, or your live stream with graphics. Now, traditionally we would do this with full screens, with lower thirds, side thirds, etc. And those still have a place, but sometimes it's just nice to be able to have a graphic in the screen with the pastor at the exact same time and the pastor can refer to the graphic, can point to it, and basically there's more interactivity there. So that's a very good reason to have a stage television on stage with the pastor, and you know, it's not like it's a chroma key or something put in digitally where the pastor like can look down and pretend to see it when it's not actually there. No, it is actually there. So that is really enhancing. Sometimes it can actually remove some burden from the media people. Uh, My pastor likes to use an iPad to control the stage display. So we load up everything in Keynote and send that over to um, an Apple TV connected to the stage display. And it's pretty much, he hits it. And it goes. And it's pretty simple. And so once we've loaded it, don't have to worry about it. It allows us to concentrate more on doing the iMag portion of the message, image magnification. It allows us to concentrate on the few full screen graphics that he wants to go up on the big screens. And it just frees us up in some uh, very cool ways. Next, let's just be honest. Stage televisions can look really good. Uh, Now that we have flat screen televisions that are very inexpensive and very large, it's nice to be able to have that piece of technology up there with the pastor. Uh, Makes it seem more relevant, and you can do a lot of really good-looking things with a stage display. And finally, it actually helps with learning. So you might be thinking, well, what do you mean it helps with learning? Well, this is learning theory, so I know that we're not all teachers and educators, but just something that I've picked up over time is that when you think about it, there's only five ways to get information into your body. You can see it, you can smell it, you can taste it, you can touch it, or you can hear it. 
the pastor's talking, you can hear. But you, all you're seeing is the pastor's face. I mean, that's some information, but seeing a picture adds to the information. So you catch both visual learners and auditory learners at the same time, and basically people that are primarily auditory, they get the augmented information through their eyes, so it helps them with retention. People that are primarily uh, visual learners get the augmented information through their ears, so it helps with retention. So it actually helps with learning. The third type of people are the people that learn through experiences, and this doesn't help as much, but you're going to get the vast majority of people by having audio and visual in the situation. Now, you can add in some movements, some experiences, etc., but that's something that a stage television maybe not wouldn't help with, but it does help with learning. Now, you might think, okay, Paul, I'm all over it. Stage television it is. We're getting one this week. Let me caution you that there are a couple of circumstances where it's no good. And primarily that has to do with the limitations of televisions. Televisions tend to be fairly small. You might think, well, I've got a 60-inch LCD in my living room, and that seems pretty big. That is pretty big. But would you pay to go to a movie theater and watch a movie on your 60-inch television? Yeah, not quite the same. Um, I just saw Rogue One, which came out very recently as I'm recording this, um, on an IMAX screen in Destin, Florida. uh, IMAX and in 3D. Huge! Yeah. Page television can't be that big. You can't have a four-story television. It just doesn't get that big. So that means that in order for people to see, unless you're in a really small room, you know, if you're in a room the size of your living room, use the TV right now. If it's in the situation where it's a 100 500,000 person room, a stage television won't actually be that easy to see. This is a mistake that a lot of churches make, is they try and replace a projector screen, or now LED panels, with a television, and they think, oh, I'll just get a bigger one. You know, we'll still spend less than a thousand dollars, like we were going to do with the projector, but That'll be just as good. No, it's not. It's just not. They're they're not big enough. And so, the reason that these work in larger churches is because they already have projector screens and they use IMAG, image magnification, to make the pastor larger and the stage television larger. Additionally, even if you could get a, I don't know, 10 meter diagonal length uh, television. First off, how would you get it in the room? But secondly, should you solve that problem? That would probably be a little too big. That would be more of a background kind of thing. Now, you could use uh, an LED wall kind of to do similar stuff, but it's just not going to be the same as using a normal size television by a normal size pastor to reference things. So there are pluses and minuses, and I just want you to consider that as you're thinking about this. So if you have any questions, comments, just leave them below the video, and um, I'm happy to talk with you about them. If you're listening to the podcast, just drop me a line, Paul, at trinitydigitalmedia.com, and I can answer your question. Speaking of which, if you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter. So go over to trinitydigitalmedia.com newsletter and subscribe there. 
and I will send you all sorts of free resources, tips and tricks, and discounts to the products and services I offer at trinitydigitalmedia.com. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.